What's going on guys? I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. Here on the channel, we discuss all things audio and video, like new movies and new AV equipment. So if it's your first time here, consider tapping that subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for review, we've got Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker on 4K digital streaming. I won't be reviewing the movie itself, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot on 35mm, it's got a 4K DI. It's rated PG-13, runtime is 142 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 by 1, so you will have those black letterbox bars. Now visually, I thought this looked more like The Force Awakens rather than The Last Jedi, so you won't get those raised black levels that were more grayish rather than black. Blacks are actually black in this episode. The rest of the color palette again followed more closely The Force Awakens. It isn't full of crazy lush colors, but I thought the use of HDR, whether it was standard HDR10 or Dolby Vision, really made those primary colors pop. Let me just mention if you are going to pick this up on digital, the Voodoo and the Movies Anywhere versions both have Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. The iTunes version is just standard 1080p and 5.1. Back to the HDR, I thought it looked fantastic. Colors are richly saturated and I didn't notice any banding or posterization in the stream. If anything, there were a couple times I saw the image go a little soft but I really think it was just more of a side effect of my network speed. Again, like I mentioned in my digital review of 1917, if I didn't know better, I probably would have thought this was a physical disc. The image remained bright throughout the entire runtime rather than being dim as you might have noticed on certain 4K transfers. And those HDR spectral highlights when the electricity is flying out of the Emperor's fingers will have you grabbing your sunglasses. Explosions and lightsaber battles just jump off the screen. Resolution wise, I thought this was more detailed than The Force Awakens. Close up shots are gonna look great, and you'll even be able to make out all the textures on the costumes and all the work that was done to all the background set pieces. Now being shot on film, there is a pretty visible grain structure for most of the movie. It does however fluctuate between being heavy in some of the more dimly lit shots to almost non-existent in the very brighter shots. So I mean, if you liked how the original movies looked, and the previous two movies, then I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one as well. Audio is in Dolby Atmos, and I found it to be sporadically aggressive in the surround channels. It does open up with the normal ship flyover that happens in every one of these movies, which sounded pretty cool. And the final battle on Exegol will have all your channels full of lasers and X-Wing fighters jumping from lower to height speakers. There were certain times I thought there should be more happening in the lower surrounds, namely when all the Sith are chanting and the camera pans around. Most of those chants remained right in the front channels. I noticed this a few times in the movie where I just felt let down by the mix. Because, let's face it, it's a Star Wars movie and it's supposed to be the cream of the crop for audio. And I just kept thinking to myself, I just wanted more. Now I'm not saying it's bad by any means, because I think that would go to The Last Jedi. I found height channel activity to be moderately active and used effectively for ambiance. And as far as bass response goes, there are some demo-worthy scenes. The ocean battle is one of the standouts here. When those waves come crashing down, it'll feel like they're crashing down in your home theater. When Rey or Kylo uses the Force, you'll feel your entire room rumble and shake with some really good infrasonics. Bass hits hard and digs really low. Soundstage was large and expansive, and the musical score sounded fantastic. So for audio, I'm going to go with an 8.6. There's some great sounding bass response throughout the entire movie, but I would have liked more surround activity. Overall though, it is one of the better sounding Star Wars mixes. For video, I'm going to go with an 8.2. I thought HDR was great with some eye popping highlights and tons of detailed textures. Grain was tight for the most part, though I'm sure it'll be more stable on the physical disc. So those are my thoughts on this 4K stream. Have you guys seen it and how do you think it stacks up against the previous two movies? Leave a comment and let us know. Well, if you want to grab this movie, I'll leave some links for it in the video's description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content and great discounts on gear, then swing by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next one.